Hello. Uh, thanks for agreeing to set up this interview. As you know, we only have a short amount of time, so let's go ahead and get started right away. Now, I know that you've been involved in some work on community issues. Can you tell me what attracted you to the community issue that you chose at the beginning of the semester? Hi, the topic we choose is the need to change curricular for U.S. colleges to suit changing cultural diversity in the U.S. colleges. Because I'm moving from China, I pursue my bachelor's degree in America. I realized uh, there are so many people, so many international students moving from other country to America to pursue their bachelor's degree, master's degree. I was so surprised. And, you know, as a student, I made a lot of problems. I made a lot of challenges. So I want somebody, I wanted the university teachers, faculties, and themselves how to face to the challenges and how to you know, find a way to solve the problems. This is uh, attracting me a lot. And I find my team member, you know, Patrick from Africa, I'm from China, Jared from America. So we're the best team to describe cultural diversity. Okay, thank you. Now, your materials also said that you were involved in a community issue team project that focused on a call to action. Can you share with me what call to action your team put forward and why you chose that call to action? So, in our persuasive speech, we I think uh, taking actions is very important. So, we found different aspects to ask people to take actions. For example, from the university side, faculties, you know, international office should organize some club, some activities, outdoor activities, inside activities as well, such as potluck, I think it's a very good example. So they can organize all the international students together so they can make their own dish and they can describe the culture in their country and a good socialize, socialize opportunity for international students. From a student side, I think it's a very good way to let them be brave. You know, you study abroad, you should be getting involved, getting involved with uh, all the international or the local, I mean, local activities. So those are very important. Not only practice your oral communication skills, but also you can find a good way to know the local, the native culture. And also, I think taking actions is very necessary for persuasive speech because, you know, our purpose of persuasive speech is ask people to take actions and solve the questions. I see. Now, if I were to ask the other members of your team what they think your biggest strength is, what do you think they would say and why do you think they would say it? I think it's very interesting questions. Um, because I think my strength is uh, I coming up with a lot of new ideas because my personality is very approachable and uh, I'm very easygoing, open-minded. What I mean is usually I will use my brain to think about like stand outside of the box, to think about it from other perspective to solve these questions. So usually my team members, they will say, oh, Jason, you have own, you have your ideas, and your idea is great. And I also, I like communicate, like share my audio, share my ideas to others, so they will know. Maybe they coming up with the similar idea, so our ideas we can connect it together and make the idea more excellent. Okay, great. What for you was the most challenging thing about working with your team? The most challenging thing is, I think, language barriers. Because, you know, I'm using English as my second language. Um, I'm from China. And uh, Jerry from America, I can probably understand. But Patrick from Africa, so when he, when he speaks English, he has a kind of an accent. So when we are in a team meeting, so we have like once a meeting, uh, once a week, 
we have meeting once a week. So usually I couldn't understand, um, but I asked him to uh, explain his idea that I will understand. So I think this is the most challenging thing. Thank you. Okay, last question. In 30 seconds or so, tell me what your biggest takeaway was from COM 110 this semester. What will stick with you and be useful to you? Thanks for asking. I think the biggest takeaway uh, that's absolutely motivation. I think motivation is very important for everyone, no matter your uh, worker or college students. Because I got a motivation from different aspects in COM 110. For example, I got a motivation from my small class instructor and she usually said, hey Jason, you did very well, um, you did a great job. So I think this is a kind of uh, encouraging culture in America people, because people usually they don't push you down, but they encourage you and you got this motivation will push you forward to make a better work in the future. The second one is um, from common 10, I think we have a regular, you have, we have regular test, uh, we have r regular assignments. What I mean is uh, this is a good way to uh, allow me to do regularly exercises because people usually get pro procrastinated. Me too. So this regular exercise will give me more chance to um, get my involved with this uh, real uh, atmosphere to practice my uh, presentation. And in the future, I want to be a good communicator. So I think I will use the motivation, keep my forward, and never stop, never give up, keep going. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. We'll probably be in touch with you in the next few weeks or so. Take care. You too.